Hi guys, today I'm here with a spinning bike and instead of the turbo trainer, I'm going to get a spinning bike attached to the online racing system's WIFT. So you can race with your friends using your spinning bike. Spinning bike's fantastic, it never wears out, totally robust, infinitely controlled resistance. You can use it in spinning class or on your own. They're relatively cheap to buy second hand. The way we're going to do it is we're going to take off the traditional pedal from the spinning bike and we're going to replace it with a power pedal. Now I'm going to use the B Pro power meter. You could use the Garmin Vector or you could use the PowerTap P1, whichever one you want to use. But the, this enables you to use the spinning bike and get racing with your friends who might be on turbo trainers or some other mechanism. So let's get going with that. Let's see how we do. Here goes. The question is, how do we get Zwift? working on a spinning bike with power. Now the best way to do it, in my opinion, is to do it with a power meter. So today we're going to use one of the very cheapest options, and that is the B-Pro B -Pro pedals. This is the one-sided pedal, the B-Pro S. So the B-Pro S works on the left-hand crank and basically doubles your power and works out your total power. And you can attach the B-Pro pedal to any device. You know, it doesn't have to be a traditional bike. It can be a spinning bike as well. So let's take you through this step by step, okay? So from the B-Pro pedal set, you need uh, B-Pro tools, and uh, pedal spar, Allen keys, and the B-Pro pedals themselves. So first thing to do on the spinning bike, remove the traditional pedals. Okay, so I'm actually using the uh, Crank Brothers egg beater pedals here. So let's take those out. So next step, follow the B-Pro instructions. What we all want to do here is assess the middle of the crank. Essentially, the B-Pro has an adjustment, two adjustments. One is mechanical, lining up the center of the B-Pro timer with the center of the crank. And the second is electronic essentially an offset, which determines how it's sensing the power. Okay, so the way you do that is you bring the right sided rod, the left sided rod, and you need the Vito center device. <coughs> Put in the left sided rod. Now, what that enables me to do is to line up with the center of the cranks. Okay, so that's the, that's the uh, existing pedals off, the uh, Crank Brothers, and we're going to put on the B Pro pedals and mark the center of the crank on the left side. So we're all set for the left handed B Pro. Usually they recommend a little pedal washer in here and it's a two-step process. You need their own B-Pro crank adjustment tool. So let me bring this around so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, that's the B-Pro pedal in, but we need to get the right tension we also need to get the center exactly lined up with the line. So the way you do that, combination, the way you do that is a combination of force on the pedal spanner and the um, Allen key. So tighten it initially as far as it will go. Now the center line is not lined up, so then you have to reverse it to where the center line is lined up. Is there, hold it still with the Allen key and then tighten it. I'll get it to about uh, five Newton's force. There we have it. So the left side B Pro is on perfectly. We need the right side. The right side is easy. It's basically just a dumb a pedal, a neutral non power pedal. Okay, so there we have it. There's left and right. Left and right B-Pro pedals on. Right, next step is to get Zwift working. I presume you know how to get Zwift up on the computer. I've just logged in. There's my USB ANTS cable. 
So plug the end cable in. Right, end cable connected. Just uh, turn this a couple of revolutions. Just to bring it to the life. Do search on power. Power meter 461 found. Okay. Now, I'm not wearing a heart rate monitor at the moment, <coughs> so uh, let's skip that step. Should it be okay? You do have to calibrate the pedals for exact accuracy. You can do that on the B Pro um, Tweak program. I'll put a link to that below. I'd also recommend a fan and the right shoes, but Arena, come and test this out. See if um, it's working with uh, Zwift. Okay, great. Seems to be working by rather. So spinning bike, Zwift, easy setup with the pro pedals. No calibration issues either. Okay, thanks guys. Well done. Dead right now. <laughs> Yay. Tommy. What do you think, Tommy? That sounds great, guys. Zwift. On the spinning bike. Sammy version. Come on, Sammy. Show them what you can do. Oh, here you go. Can you reach the pedal, Sammy? Shall I put the seat down for you? <laughs> okay, guys. Spinning bike and Zwift. That's how to do it.